Hey everyone, it's Ashton. So the last video I kind of explained a little bit about struggles and I want to open up even more about it because I'm someone who tells everyone that I talk to if that you're having any kind of roadblocks or you decide to stop on that wonderful road and attempting destination, whatever it may be, support. I always say is a huge factor in helping you reach your goals or helping you get to your destination. Yes, you can do it on your own and sometimes, you know, you get that push like someone's like, yeah, whatever, and you're like, you know what, I'm going to prove you wrong. But um, it's nice that if you're having a tough time or you're going through struggles, to have someone to tell you, say, hey, it's okay. It's just, it's just that roadblock. It's just something that you need to overcome. You need to find a way around it and then you will get there. So I'm opening up about my struggles because I can't practice, you know, I got to practice what I preach, right? I can't just say one thing to you guys and then do another thing. So yes, we all go through struggles. Everyone knows that we're human. We have mistakes and it's about learning from them but um first of all i'm going to apologize for being nasally i've had this for going on be two weeks as of sunday so this is going to be sunday so very annoying got to go to the doctors that's on my list to do but so let's see where i begin <laughs> Okay, some of you may know that I was with someone for about almost six years, or going on six years, and we split up in January of 2013, and so things were going really well though, you know, we were still really good friends, um, we still lived with each other, you know, and just you know, staying kind of, you know, just staying distance, whatever it may be. And then something changed and it was a move out situation. So I've moved in with my parents. I moved in with my dad and my stepmom and I can't thank them enough for letting me and my, my two kiddos come in. So, um, my youngest, though, has been staying with my ex, and um, it's just been hard because I have the two kiddos over here, so I'm trying not to overstep my boundaries, and I pick him up, bring him over here and stuff, but I don't spend as much time with him as I used to. I mean, I was a stay-at-home mom doing beach body since he was born so and he just got into daycare he was in it for like maybe a couple months um, at one point but now he just got into daycare about like two months ago so that's a struggle <laughs> um, so that's one issue but Okay. Whew. Um, it's hard not being able to feel independent. But again, it's just, it's a roadblock. So, um, I've been over here and I, you know, I used to cook my meals all the time all the time I've been trying to make as less work for me so I can work more on <clears throat> more on with the kids since they are out of school even though they'll be getting back in in a couple weeks but I've been focused on you know spending a lot of time with them and then also trying to build my business other than cooking my meals that's like not a huge priority so, 
I've been over here for about a month and I've gained about 10 pounds. I know inches haven't gone crazy up, but I mean, 10 pounds, when you gain 10 pounds, you can feel it. For someone who, no matter where you're at, so it's it's like a bloated feeling and just feeling, yeah, like you gained 10 pounds. So I am in, I'm at 143 as of this morning, and that's frustrating me to, to me because I haven't been in the 140s since last year. So I got yesterday, um, last night, I met up with my mom who was at a bar. They were celebrating um, Mark Steinus. He is from our hometown and he went to school with my mom. And so they were all up there for a party, um, just, you know, welcome home party. Um, you know, he came, visited, whatnot. Well, I know Mark Steinus because of 10 Minute Trainer. He did 10 Minute Trainer and he, you know, pushed through, lost 40 pounds with 10 Minute Trainer. And um, so I got to talk to him a lot. And I sat there and talked with them, and we talked about fitness and, you know, about doing this and doing that. And he showed me his uh, ab pictures. Ab pictures, yes. Abs, like ripped abs. Um, he's been doing, working with a trainer right now. And I can't remember the name. But he does the, the tap out. So, um, and I believe he does... Either Power 90 or P90X is what he said. He's been doing here and there too. So, but anyways, you know, it really hit me because I'm like, I showed the before and after pictures and I was like, yeah, you know, I was down to whatever and now I've gained this 10 pounds because of stress. Stress is horrible, but not only stress, I know that food has a part to do with it. What sucks the most is I'm busting my butt off daily working out and not getting anywhere. And I, that's like the biggest frustration to me is when you are sitting there like putting in so much hard work and you are not seeing anything. So I had to sit down and really think like, hey, okay, today's the day. Like last night, I'm like, it's it. Tomorrow, it's on. Like I am writing down everything I'm eating I'm going to calculate to figure out around how many calories that I need to be eating and I'm going to be counting the calories and that's what I'm going to do so I can start seeing my results again. So no, I'm not waiting until Monday like some people say they want to get over that hump of the weekend. No, I'm starting today. So, so far, you know, I woke up, I went for a four mile run. I still have my T25 to do, so I'll do, it's double day Friday, so I'll do one of the workouts, and then I'll do one of them tomorrow, because I don't like not working out for two days in a row. Sunday will be my day off. But, anyways, um, I only had breakfast yet this morning, been drinking a lot of water, and just making sure that I'm not snacking or anything like that. And I want to get back into doing my cooking. Like I have, I've been doing omelets and stuff like that. And But dinner, you know, it's been healthier snacky foods or I'll eat what they have, which I know my dad and, and stepmom, they, you know, they, they make healthier choices. But yet I know that mine, sometimes what I make is even healthier than that. So that could be a big part. I'm rambling on and on and on and on and on, and you guys are probably like, hmm, okay, we get it. Time to stop the video. Anyways, so struggles. They come, they go, they come, they go. And it's a continuous process. It's not something that you will never have a struggle. No matter where you're at in your journey, you're always going to have struggles. You're always going to have roadblocks. And it just, 
the roadblocks are put up to see how bad and how much you want to get to your goal. How bad do you want to reach that destination? And when you do reach that destination, it's about even seeing further past that destination and going even further into it. So always remember to stay positive and that there are so many people out there that are in journeys just like you that can help talk you through how to get over this, get you pumped up and set you off on your way. Find that little brick that you need to knock down. Find it. It might not be the top one. It might not be the middle one. But one of the bricks, when you hit it, will slowly start to knock down the rest. So keep pushing forward and know that I'm always here to answer any questions. I'm always here to help you guys. Um, and feel free to ask me anything. So if I'm not getting bugged enough, my job isn't getting done. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend, and we will talk to you later. Bye, guys.